Okay, let's take a look at this connection here. You see how it's parallel to the opening. I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to go back and add it. I'm going to put it in the center of that right there. Now I've turned the snap off, but I've got polar. You want polar on and snap off. And I'm going to rotate it down just a little so I can make sure. When I see that, I know I'm lined up parallel to the opening. And I'm going to place that thing. And I can take a look at it. And you see how it's parallel? All righty then. And that's what, that's what you want to see, okay? And then if I go over here, we'll do, a, we'll do it again. And there it is. And then you go through and fill all this stuff out. All right, here's the third iteration of that three quarter inch uh, pressure reducing valve. So let's test out our uh, socket here, our threaded connection. Look at that. Now, remember, got to keep snap off, or ortho, I'm sorry, ortho. You turn ortho on, you get that kind of garbage. You want ortho off and polar on. Now, this needs to be a 30. So if I delete this, I'll go in here and put in a 30. Now, there is no 30 degree in the catalog, so you're going to have to make one. Now, this line is supposed to be sloped out to the uh, tap for the pressure sensing. This is threaded socket type pipe. There is no wiggle in that. You cannot run a sloped line out of that. It is physically impossible. You have to come out with an angle, and then this elbow right here, you would rotate down to put your slope on to get it to slope back. I just did this real quick. To, show you that this thing works. So keep that in mind. With sloped pipe and socket fittings, you can't slope out of that. 